Okay, rate of change between two, two points. Sound familiar? It should. Algebra 1, you learned about slope. Slope means the same thing as rate of change between two points. And then the line that goes from point A to point B is called the secant line. And the slope of the secant line is average velocity or rate of change or slope. And in this case, we would say m subsecant, and that means the same thing as average velocity between point A and point B. So if you were to find the average velocity, you could write it like this. m subsecant is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Another way sometimes that you're going to see it written is the change in y's over the change in x's. So here's an example. They give you uh, this function right here, y is equal to 2x squared plus 2. And they say what you're going to look at, you're going to draw a line of that, of that graph uh, between the x point that's 0, so that's x is 0, and x is 1. All right, so let's go ahead and do that here. All right, so we're going to find the average rate, which means average rate of change, which means m secant, which is the change in y's over the change in x's, but we have to find the y's. So we plug 0 into this. 0 squared is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 2 is 2. And then we plug 1 into that x. 1 squared is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4. So now we have our x1, y1, x2, y2. And we're going to plug it in to the formula. So m secant is equal to y2, 4 subtract 2 over, oops, 1 subtract 0. I almost messed up. Just like that. 4 subtract 2 is 2, 1 subtract 0 is 1, 2 divided by 1 is 2. So the average rate of change of this function between so if we had this function right here and then we plotted those points the average rate of change between these two points is 2. And look, you can almost see it, up 2 over 1. All right, let's see. And usually when we're doing that, when we're talking about actual slope of a situation, usually there's going to be how far did they go over and what kind of time. So you're sometimes you're going to be talking about it in terms of units over time. All right, that's it for average velocity.